Yeah, this logged area is really doing really nice. Look at all the berry brush that's coming back in. You know, deer love this stuff. There's berries there. They really love this browse though. You know, have you ever thought of how much food a deer needs in a day? That's today's question. And it's an interesting one because the average whitetail, mature whitetail, is gonna need about six pounds of food a day just for normal activities. Now that's for a big deer. Yearlings, fawns, they're gonna need much less, about four pounds of food a day. That's a lot of food when you consider that deer are natural browsers. What is browse? Browse is the natural vegetation that you'll see in the woods. A lot of times it's berry brush. It could be sumac. It could be aspen regrowth. And it's normally the leaves and especially the stems of these plants. That's what deer browse on. And deer are selective browsers, selective grazers, so to speak. That means in farm country like this, they're gonna eat a little bit here, a bite here, a bite there. It takes a lot of little bites throughout the day to get to six pounds of food for a big buck. But let's look at the foods we have here. We have, we're only standing in a little spot here on the edge of a field. I can see tons of food. I can, some, I can see some invasives that they're not gonna eat. Invasives, buckthorn, they're not gonna eat that. That's just gonna grow. It's an invasive species, deer don't like it. They love berry browse, that much we know. That's natural browse. They love clover. And we have lots of good white clover in this field. And the thing about white clover, which is different than red clover, is white clover is long, longer stem. It's much softer, if you, if you feel it. The fact of the matter remains, white clover deer prefer it because it's much more digestible for them. But there's all sorts of other things that deer are gonna eat. Just look at your property and see what your property has. You could have fruit orchards. So they're not only gonna eat the fruit, the apples, the pears, the plums, the persimmons, the, they're not only gonna eat the fruit that those trees produce, they're also gonna browse on the leaves and the stems of those trees. Great browse, great food. Other things you're gonna see. I mentioned aspen, that's, that's a northern thing. You're gonna see that in the upper Midwest and the north. You're gonna see a lot of aspen regrowth, very preferred by deer, birch. They're gonna eat other things too. They're gonna eat evergreens when they have to in the winter time. But the thing to remember is, how much food do you have on your property naturally and stuff that you've introduced, like a food plot, like a clover plot, like a cornfield, like soybeans, and how much is that gonna pr produce throughout the year? And then think, a deer needs six pounds a day. If you have a high deer density, you're gonna need a lot of food to feed all those whitetails. With the pandemic scare, we're all about saving money right? Well, one way to do it with your trail cameras is consider something new, like the Cuddy Link system by Cuddyback. No cellular, no Wi-Fi. One mothership, the mother unit, captures all of these other units' information. All the images you set up are going to go to this one camera you can check. Now, the important thing is have that mother unit in an area where you can drive up to it or access easy, easily, and then you can get all these images right off it. Some other things to consider when you're putting these cameras up, always point them north or south. East or west, you get that extreme sunset and sunrise. Now, if you live way north in the winter time, that southerly hemisphere might be hard too. So then you wanna point it north. Next thing to do, Never have that unit set up straight at the trail. Always kind of angling, and it's best if you can find a trail where the deer are filtering away. That way it gives these fast recycling units time to catch one, two, three, four, five images instead of just one, and then it's over. The last thing to consider, if you're especially if you've got a big mature buck you're after who's maybe a little paranoid, hang that unit up looking down. You can get that unit just a little bit above the eye level of a deer. They won't see it and trespassers, they might not see it either.